Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a very easy and very delicious carp recipe. First of all, why carp? Carp is regarded as a trash fish, but only in the United States. In other parts of the world, it's considered a normal fish. In my country, Hungary, as well as the rest of Europe, it's a normal freshwater fish. Our cookbooks are full of recipes. In the Middle East, it's a normal fish. And in Asia, it's even considered a symbol of wealth, I guess because they jump high out of the water. So it's a symbol of jumping over to wealth or something like that. Also, the scales are so big, they are comparable to coins. So carp is a good fish and it tastes good. You just need to know how to make it. So I'm going to show you a super easy recipe. This is called Hungarian Fisherman Soup. And I actually made a video like this a long time ago. I made it with trout. You could actually make it with any kind of fish. The recipe actually calls for several types of fish, but you could just use one type. And carp is perfect for that. If you look in the description of this video, I will write different ways of making it, just some small differences, as well as the things you can do to carp to make sure it tastes good. Although. I don't think you have to do it in this case because it's going to be a soup, but if you're trying to make other dishes like baking it or frying it, I will give you, I will give you some tips on what to do. So let's get started. Like I said, this recipe is very easy. So you have very few ingredients. You will need the entire fish. We're going to use the entire fish, the fins and the head. We're not going to eat all of it, but we're going to use all of it. And then you will need salt. Garlic salt is fine, but just salt, pepper, and paprika. In fact, a lot of paprika. You will have to be very generous with it. And one purple onion, just one head. It could be smaller. We're not going to use this whole thing. There are a couple of things you can do, which I'm going to describe in the description of this video. For example, you could use a tomato, and I will tell you how. Or you can also sort of cheat a little bit and add a little bit of tomato paste but you have to be careful with these two items you don't want it to taste too much like tomatoes and in my country we are so crazy about fisherman soup that you can even buy them in these little cubes so you don't have to worry about the seasoning and then this one is the spicy version you make it as spicy as you want I always refer to this cookbook right here. So I'm going to show you. This here on the top, that's your recipe. That's it, very, very simple. So let's start cooking. The first step is gutting and cleaning your fish, which I had already done before. Then you're going to take off the scales and you just need a butter knife. Holding your fish underwater makes it easier and you just go backwards and they will just, you know, fly off all over the kitchen. But you just need to make sure you take them all off on the bottom, the top, everywhere. Then you're going to take a very sharp knife and cut up your fish. So you're going to cut off the head, cut off all the fins, and the fish will be itself cut up into about one inch or one and a half inch wide pieces. It also depends on the size of your fish. You're going to use everything, like I said earlier, so don't throw away the head or the fins or anything from the fish. I have written the same exact recipe for you in the description of the video along with some variations of how you can make this soup but I'm following this recipe slicing up the purple onion and then in a pot you're going to put the fish head and all the fins on the very bottom followed by a layer of the onions and then a layer of the fish salt and pepper and you don't want to put too much you will add more salt later but you just keep on layering it and you do not want to use all the onion. You don't want it to be too strong and have an overpowering flavor. So just go easy with that. I used maybe half of the onion. Lots of paprika, more than what the recipe calls for actually. And then you pour enough water so that all the fish or most of the fish is immersed in it. I'm going to make this over a campfire just to make it more traditional. Of course, you could do it over the stove. I wanted to make it over campfire so that it has that traditional 
vibe, but it might not have been the best idea because of the extreme drought and we had a hundred degree heat. But I did spray the grass with water earlier that day. I soaked it all and then I set the fire and it just seemed so big and that little bit of breeze we had, it just kind of carried that fire. So I had the water hose ready and sprayed the grass all around it. Um, I almost called it quits and just, you know, finished it on the stove, but it actually worked out. You going to want to make a big fire and then let it die down. And then when the fire is still pretty big, then you're going to put the pot on a tripod because you need to bring the water to a boil. So this is not the same as when you're cooking a steak. Here is a mini language lesson for you. In Hungarian, fisherman soup is holasle. Fish means hall. Fisherman means holas. Soup is le. Holasle. Holasle. And if you say, együnk halaszlevet, that means let's eat fisherman soup. Once the water comes to a boil, you will cook it for a little while longer and you do not need to stir it. There is nothing to stir, it's not going to burn. You just need to give it a shake once in a while. You don't want the fish pieces to fall apart. It's very important. And don't forget before the end to take out the fish head and all the fins because you don't eat those. We're only using them so that the flavor cooks into the soup. The fire was pretty hot. It was very hard for me to stand next to it. So if that's the case for you, you can always just take it out when you take it off the fire. Just don't forget because it would be not very appetizing to leave it in there. And do a taste test once or twice. Chances are you will need to add some salt, maybe a lot more salt, maybe some paprika. In that case, just cook it a little longer. If something is missing, it's going to be the salt or the paprika. And you can actually make this hotter. So you can add chili pepper or cayenne pepper. You could make it just a little bit hot to give it a little kick or super hot, however you like it. And you want to serve it with bread. For one, the soup is really not that filling. It's only fish, so the bread will help you feel fuller. But my dad's old trick was to eat bread with fish all the time because if you have a little bit of bone, maybe get stuck in your throat, that way you take a piece of bread, you chew it, you swallow it, and it will take the bone down, no problem. I actually haven't had any issues with any bones. It hardly had any, but this way you have the bread right there. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to explore eating carp. There are so many recipes you can do. You can fry them, make soup, you can bake them, you can do all kinds of things. Both of my carp that I have ever caught came from Lake Isabella down here in California. They were so much fun to actually fish as well. So I'm really excited about them. I hope you will try this out, let me know how you liked it or if you have any questions or anything like that and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.